In April 1972, the consumer magazine Witch turned its attention to keg beer. Among the usual articles about which lawnmower to buy and choosing a kettle was a report based on the results of a tasting panel made up of 30 people who were mostly young men. They tried Double Diamond, Worthington E, Courage Tavern, Younger's Tartan, Whitbread Tankard and the reviled Watney's Red. The conclusion they reached was pretty damning. Keg beer is a bright, chilled, fairly fizzy, moderately expensive, bland tasting beer of average strength. We can see little reason for preferring one to another and even less for preferring them to the brewer's own alternative bitters. Which didn't have an axe to grind, so this report can probably be taken as reasonably objective. Keg beers, even if they weren't horrible, were certainly rather boring. It's significant too because it demonstrates that the campaign for real ale, then a year old and with only around 30 members, was picking up on something in the air. It wasn't just a commodity whose only purpose was to slake the thirst, it was actually becoming a topic of conversation. Mm -hmm.